as a teenager, I was maybe a little bit, bit of a provocateur doing school presentations dressed as a woman. I uh, don't really know why, but somehow I thought that was so fun. I studied journalism at the university and uh, while I was still studying I started to work for different magazines, entertainment magazines, video games magazines, technology magazines and in the staff of these magazines there were only men but me also. I stumbled into all, all the kinds of gender cliches I now criticize. Many photographers, I think, wants to create a, an image that looks right. Where people are like, yes, great lighting, classical Rolex guy, classical images of classic masculinity and femininity. Great. But I think that's so boring. And they hold it. Mm? They hold it, bra. They hold it. Mm? Den lyssnande chefen. Hur känns det då att bli fotad så här? Det här känns märkligt nog mer naturligt. <laughs> ja. <laughs> Helt seriös. Då är det lite dyrare modemagasin. I think there's probably more wake up calls than one for me. But when I was uh, 25 I worked for a tech magazine and went to the biggest technology mess in uh, in the world, CS in Las Vegas, and uh, noticed women in my age with uh, leather hot pants standing and demonstrating gadgets in front of uh, older male journalists drooling over them. And I was one of the journalists. <laughs> so, yeah, here are lämpliga poses for a woman, lämpliga poses for a man. I saw a, a, a void to be filled with this profession. A photographer that questions uh, how we portray men and women different. Here in Sweden, when I give lectures, most of the people in the room are happy and horrified in the same time. Happy that you can see all these patterns, these ridiculous pictures of uh, female CEOs lying upside down in couches and uh, men posing without kids on daddy's magazines. And then there's someone in the room always who says that should we really analyze this much? Aren't you overanalyzing now? Bra. Some people think this is about political correctness. Uh, but I don't think they have heard the arguments. Really. Because does anyone want to take away possibilities from another human being? To say to a boy who wants to make pearl necklaces that can't do that. Go out and fight with your bodies. So I think it's more important than ever, really, to stand your ground and talk about why it's important to not limit each other, not typecasting each other, reminding us that we can be whatever we want to be. Resist reducing people into stereotypes. <laughs>